oftentimes when people do this, they complain about the hair being bad hair, being trash hair. No, baby girl, you're trash. What's up? What's good? It's your girl Courtney B here, and I'm back with another video. A sexy little mo Ooh. Got going on my nail. We are back again with yet another curly wig install. Now you guys love to see me in curly hair. I love bringing curly hair to y'all. But when it comes to curly hair, there are some things that I gotta admit, y'all are just not doing right. Everybody wants curly hair until time to take care of it. They wanna ooh, ah, eh, eh. But then when it's time to really get down to the nitty gritty. Can I help you? Are you gonna come in here and just sit? What do you want? You wanna go outside? Hold on, y'all. Shut up, ain't that some mess? They got enough sense to knock on the door and let me know they gotta go outside and pee. So for today's video, your girl has partnered up with the doula hair to bring you guys six curly hair mistakes that I am seeing way, way too often. <laughs> Before we jump into today's video, you guys already know what to do. Hit the subscribe button down below. And also, while you're doing that, you guys, give your girl a big thumbs up for more content like these. Make sure you guys also hit that bell button down below. So that way, you guys notified every single time your girl uploads any videos like these and others. Y'all buckle up, sit tight, get you a snack, something to drink, because um I'm gonna step on a few toes. The first mistake I see a lot of you guys making is brushing your hair when it's dry. That makes me cringe. Brushing your curly hair dry is the worst worst thing you can ever do. First of all, it causes breakage within your hair and it also just makes your hair a lot more poofy, a lot more less manageable and just makes it look very damaged, okay? Oftentimes when people do this, they complain about the hair being bad hair, being trash hair. No, baby girl, you're trash. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Whether it's deep wave, curly, your hair should either be sopping wet or between 70 or 80% moist. Firstly, because curly hair is the most manageable when it is wet or moist. It's easier to brush through, easier to manage and just easier to style. That will make your curly hair experience way more easier. Some people don't like the idea of having to spray down their hair every morning. Their curly hair is not for you because you're going to have to use water every time you style it. The second mistake I see more so than the first mistake is brushing your hair or detangling your hair from top to bottom. This is a big, big, big no-no. Firstly, because you're gonna be ripping out so many strands of hair from the root to where you're gonna thin out your wig and you're just messing up your texture overall. And that also does not serve for good curl definition. You start from the ends of your hair to get a good curl definition flow going and then you work your way up. That just makes detangling your hair a lot easier. You don't wanna start from brushing up here and down here because you're gonna get stuck somewhere in between if you're detangling. So your best bet is to work your way from the bottom and work your way up. You're gonna eventually get those tangles out but the process of going from bottom to top just makes it a lot more easier and a lot more gentle on your hair third curly hair mistake is not washing or co-washing your hair before you install it or define it for the first time washing your curly hair should be the first thing that you do in any type of initial install when you receive any curly haired unit it's gonna come in like a factory setting those very uniform curls and ringlets that's not the true texture of the hair so if ever you're installing a wig without washing it and spraying down your curls and defining it just understand that once you actually wash your hair after that initial install, your hair is gonna look completely different because curly hair needs to be washed so that you can wash off that factory setting, that factory curl and those factory chemicals so that you are able to see the true definition and true curl pattern of your wig. Some chemicals are added to the hair to preserve the curl pattern and to make it look a little bit more uniform in the process of traveling and that needs to be stripped away from the hair before you install it on your head. I see girls install a wig, the same wig, and their curl patterns can seem to look completely different because one girl may have washed her wig before styling and then one girl may have just applied the wig out of the box and sprayed water and detangled it and that just gives them a different result. Number four, only finger combing and finger styling. Baby girl, if you guys have not seen my beginner friendly wig essentials kit video, I will leave that link up above in the cards and also down below in the description box. You guys, it's a must see and what I'm about to say now was mentioned also in that video which shows how important 
important this is, and that is to use a paddle brush. There's no combs, there is no wide tooth combs. If you want a good curl definition, you need a good paddle brush, okay? I don't know the science behind it, I don't know why it just works the way it works, but a paddle brush just does something for the girls, for the curls, I mean please. A paddle brush is gonna be your best friend when it comes to curly hair. It just does everything you need and more. Firstly, a paddle brush helps you define your hair no matter what. You can define your hair off of just water with the paddle brush. I wouldn't recommend it, but it's possible. Also, a paddle brush does wonders when you're trying to detangle your hair, so it just makes sense to get a paddle brush. Preferably a paddle brush from Dollar Tree. Y'all know I love Dollar Tree. I love having a good coin. Dollar Tree has the best, let me repeat that. Dollar Tree has the best paddle brushes hands down, and they're for a dollar. I mean. Is there anything else to say? I love my paddle brush from Dollar Tree. I probably have bought at least three or four. I've tried every paddle brush at Dollar Tree and honestly all of them work the same. So just pick up any paddle brush from the Dollar Store and watch it work, it's magic, honey. Mistake number five is using just water on your curly hair. Now you're probably thinking, Courtney, you just said detangle your hair with water, with paddle brush and boom, boom, bam, bam, tip the root, all that kind of stuff. Yes, I did. But also, when you want to define and keep your curly hair defined, it's just inevitable. You are going to need product, you are. Unless you guys like that more untamed, natural, just free falling curly hair look, then by all means, it's not a mistake for you sis, do your thing. But for me, I just think tamed and defined curls just look so, so good, so beautiful. I do think a product is necessary. And to successfully show off the true texture of any unit, I believe that you should have some type of product, some type of curling agent, some type of leave-in conditioner, curling cream, gel, whatever you think floats your boat, use it sis. For today's video, I did use my ORS olive oil cream definer, cream curl defreezer, the, I don't know sis. I just found it in my hair supply drawer and I must say I do like it. It defined my hair pretty, pretty well. I do think I may have used a little bit too much towards my ends, but other than that, so this is definitely a vibe. If some of you guys aren't familiar with some really, really good curl definers, I will leave my current favorite curl defining creams down below in the description box so you guys make sure to check that out. And also, if you guys have any other suggestions for curly hair products that help with the finding curly hair leave that in the comment section also because i know some of you guys are struggling with that as well and we're here to help so leave it in the comments number six throwing your hair into a bonnet yes a bonnet is necessary but throwing your hair in a bonnet is not there's definitely a way to preserve and tie up your curly hair to have a good night's rest and it's not just bunching your hair from putting it in a bonnet it's gonna cause the hair to tangle up and mat up because you are rolling you are tossing you are turning and your hair is gonna wind around and tend to try to come together which is gonna make it harder for you in the morning to detangle and to style your hair before you leave or do whatever you gotta do in your day i'm gonna let y'all in on the secret to preserve your curly hair at night, put your hair either in two pigtails or in four section ponytails and twist them down or you can plait braid them down and then is when you can throw them into your bonnet. But just loose curls like this, that's a no no sis. That will save you time on your styling and also your detangling time in the morning. And yeah you guys, those are all six of my curly hair mistakes. I hope you guys learned something and took something from today's video. Y'all, I'm learning in this wig game just as well as you guys are learning so whatever I learn, I'm willing to share with you guys so that we can slay this thing called wig life together. Now I know y'all didn't think I was gonna come on camera and I give y'all a review for this hair. Y'all silly, what y'all thought? This is Medulla Hair's 13 by four lace frontal curly wig. And I do have sis in 24 inches. Now, let's talk. I did not do an initial reaction for the install because as you guys saw, I did not use any glue, any gel, any spray, any mousse, nothing. I didn't even finish cutting all the lace off to be quite honest with you because I knew I was not gonna really show my sides and I didn't wanna mess up the lace. So I just left sis alone because I knew I was gonna go for like a nice little bang down the meadow. The only little qualm I have that I wanna point out to you guys is the layering of this wig. Now I'm not sure the layering was intentional or what but I'll insert a clip of how the hair is layered the hair is actually much shorter in the front as you guys can see in comparison to the rest of the hair and it's a little bit choppy and then we have these shorter pieces and then we have the rest of the hair which is the true 24 inches so you're not really given a full 24 inches around your whole head pretty much the back of your hair is 24 inches but as far as the front this is what you have it does give you that layered look but I do feel as if these pieces should have been a little bit longer if you guys were going for that layered look because right here this looks kind of funny you turn to the side. That just sudden cut off just makes it kind of weird looking, but you can combat that by blending your hair really, really good. Or if you guys are to style this hair, I would more so twist this hair back into the rest of your hair, or do a nice half up, half down, put it in a bun, and then you're good if you guys are still interested in this hair. But other than that, I'm loving this unit. The curl pattern is absolutely beautiful. Let me show you guys up close how everything is looking. I will say that that curl cream made the hair a little bit crunchy because I did go a little bit overboard. I did kind of OD a 
little bit. Now, right about now, the hair is probably 80% dry. And you guys, that is the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please do not forget to give your girl a big thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to the Beehive down below. Join the Beehive gang, the Beehive fam, because we are lit and we are never, ever. Boy, you over here, do you understand me? I know you want to keep in contact with your girl because I'm your best friend, you're my best friend, and we're all best friends. So add your girl on Instagram. I mean, what? A big heartfelt thank you to Squat to Nula here for bringing you guys today's look. I'm in love with this unit. Thank you so much for sending it to me. And yeah, as always, I love every single one of you. But until next time, my lovelies, your crown may tilt, but you never let it fall. Stay gilded.